Hi, my name is Liam Gibson. I'm the operations manager here at Thermal and Scotts. At the moment, we're working on a thermal oil blast cooler, which is a large unit which consists of a large heat exchanger mounted on top of three axial fans. Everything is manufactured in-house uh, here at our manufacturing facility in Hoik. Once we get the drawings from the design team, which are pre-approved by the customer, the first stage for us is to manufacture the components. We usually start with the header plates for the heat exchangers, which we use our new water jet profile car. The water jet cutter is the ideal tool for the job. Um, it cuts through 25 millimeters thick plate really easily. It can actually cut a maximum of 150 millimeters. We then move on to the manufacturing of the half header components, the pipe connections and flange connections. While all this is happening, we are already starting the sheet metal work to make up the frame of the unit. Most of that work is also done on the water jet cutter. Uh, the rest of it is done using more traditional methods, cutting, drilling. We then take all the finished components, test fit them together uh, in an unpainted state just to do a trial fit. Once we've okayed everything on that front, we strip it back down and then everything goes for powder coating at our in-house powder coating line. Once all that's done, we reassemble the unit and it's ready to receive the finished heat exchanger, which in the meantime has been getting welded by one of our hooded welders on site here. Prior to the final assembly, however, we conduct a hydrostatic pressure test at 16 bar. We also then do magnetic particle inspection, which is done by a roundhouse weld inspector who's qualified to PCN level two uh, and CSWIP 3.1. Once all the checks have been done, final assembly takes place. That includes final dimensional checks and visual inspection. And then it's ready to be packaged up, loaded onto our wagon and taken to the hopefully very happy customer for commissioning.